All right, guys, this is uh, the first video of two for our um, 7.2 decomposition and conservation lab. Uh, so basically what we're going to do is uh, at the end of this lab, we're going to look at why part of this reaction is a decomposition reaction. Um, but our main purpose, again, is just looking at conservation of mass. Okay, so uh, this one's going to be really good because we can, again, measure the mass of our, our reactants when we start and we want to compare that to the mass of our products okay um, so we can see that so just like normal go ahead and get our title um, lab number your name at the top make sure we fill in our purpose so again it's explaining conservation of mass where we can predict the products um, be able to accurately measure the products and the reactants of this lab and then compare a synthesis reaction with a decomposition reaction so remember synthesis is what we looked at last week when we we burned the steel wool or the iron and added oxygen to it uh, making iron oxide as our, as our product so uh, for this lab uh, we have in my little dixie cup here i have about it's more like seven grams of baking soda. So it doesn't really matter how much we have as long as we know how much we start with. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I have vinegar. Okay. I have my Erlenmeyer flask, which we'll use to when we do our reaction. Um, I have my balloon to capture my gases. Over here, I have my digital scale. Um, I'll get a funnel or a piece of paper to use as a funnel. And then finally, I got my um, graduated cylinder to measure my exact mass of uh, vinegar, okay? Uh, so for this lab, uh, big thing is when we look at our data tables, we're going to add this to our notebooks, um, but we up here I separated out the mass of our equipment, okay? So that's going to be when we're when we're actually taking recording mass, the only, the only equipment we're going to have is we're going to have this balloon and our Erlenmeyer flask. Um, and, and so that's important to understand because Every single one of these measurements down here, then, we need to be subtracting the mass of the appropriate equipment for it. And we'll get to that in a second. Um, same thing when we get to the mass of our products, right? We're going to look at total mass, um, but we need to make sure that we're subtracting the mass of these things. Because we're not concerned with the mass of our balloon. We're not concerned about the mass of our flask. Um, those should remain unchanged. So we just want to subtract those out of this equation completely. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and make sure you got this all set up. So basically what we're going to do, we've seen this reaction um, a lot of times before, uh, but in the next video you'll see I'm going to add my baking soda to my balloon. I'm going to add my vinegar to my Erlenmeyer flask. I'm going to put it over the top, and then the cool thing is I'm going to use this to dump the baking soda in, and then that way, because our goal is, again, we want to try and capture as much mass as possible and as much of this carbon dioxide that we can see here as possible. So make sure you have that all set up, and then watch the next video to get your results for these that we'll use to answer our analysis and synthesis questions.